guys. Cindy out of here with my RT Endeavors. I hope everybody's doing well today. It is time for, pardon me, a nap apparently. <laughs> no, it's time for Gina Aaron's design team. Um, let's see, for the month of July, we have Pile, Crowd, and Stack. Those, and sorry about my computer over here is very noisy. I'll turn that down. Um, so pile, crowd, and stack. So what I did is I got out some of Gina's stamps. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, stencils. Um, these are the four that I chose. I've got these four faces. Here's one. Let me move this out of the way. There's two. And these are three, four. This one's kind of dirty, so it's kind of hard to see. See here? All right. So... I, th I had this crazy idea in my head that I want to make them into a crowd, but I want to stack them. So let's see what happens. Um, this is actually a journal that I got when I was at a class um, by Diane Reevely. And this is one that, um, actually this is my journal that I purchased. And, but I did a lot of work in it when um, I was with Diane Reevely. We did a lot of sprays and just playing around with sprays and some of her stencils and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so it's got a lot of work done in it. But what I wanted to do today, I really like, where is it, this page here? No, that's too dark. Let's find a page I want to use. Um... Hmm, no. You know what, I think I'm just gonna do the blank pages. That way I can I can show you the whole process. But anyways, what I plan on doing is making an art journal page using these four ladies for my pile and stack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get out some paints and let's put down a background. What do we feel like doing today? How about some Dina Wakely? How about some lemon and lime? That sounds good to me today. So I'm going to put out some lemon and lime. I don't have any um, gesso on these pages, and I really don't think I need any. So I'm just going to throw out some lemon and lime here. Just get that so that it doesn't get onto my other pages, depending on what's back there. All right. Oops. I just threw something on my, put out some lemon in line. So I hope everybody's doing good. I hope you're enjoying Gina's design team videos this year. Um, got some really, really cool artists on there, and it's a lot of fun watching them um, and seeing what everybody comes up with. So we hope you guys are enjoying that. Now, I just added a little bit of water to my brush just to make it a little bit more juicy. I'm not worried about those. Even though you really don't have to, with Dina Wakely paints, her paints really spread well and they blend well. Um, even though they're a heavy body paint, they, they, they're creamy enough so that there's no issue getting them to spread or blend. I'm doing it just because I want a little bit of that wetness there. So basically all I did is just use some lime and lemon and uh, do a couple pages here. Kind of want to make it work this way. All right, I love it. Now I'm going to dry this up. And then we're going to come back and play with some stencils. So I'll be right back. So I just dried that. There's a couple spots here and there that aren't dry, but that's okay. All right, next I have the Dina Wakely Ocean and Lapis. And I'm just going to put a little bit over here on my palette. There's the Ocean. There's the Lapis. Okay, and I'm going to grab some of Gina's other stencils. Those are the faces. All right, let's see what we've got. Um, bum, 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 what am I in the mood to use? Uh, I want this one. 
Now, if you haven't looked recently, you need to check out Gina's Etsy shop. She's got a whole bunch of new stencils out there. Um, I don't have any right this moment because um, I'm waiting for an order to come in. So I'm going to use what I do have. All right, so let's play around with these stencils. The first one I've got is this one. And I'm just going to take some of that ocean blue and I'm just going to play. We're going to play. Just to throw a little bit of color down. Nothing crazy. Just put a little bit down there. They don't have to be perfect. That's not what I'm doing. I just want something to break up that color. Right? Okay. So just a breakup. All right, there's a breakup. Now, now I'm going to use these. These um these ones are really cool because in a sense you get four stencils for the price of one, which is really awesome. And they just they have a lot of really cool things on them. This one I really like, so I'm going to use this um, lapis and just kind of again I'm just playing right now. I'm just it's more about breaking up the color. I'm not doing, you know, anything in any particular order. I'm just moving it wherever I decide it lands. That's where I'm going to put the next stencil. And yeah, they all seem to be going the same direction. That's okay. I don't care. All right. Now I want to use these circles and I'm going to go back to actually I'm going to do a mixture of both of these colors, both of these blues. We're just going to do some circle. kind of break it up right okay so now that I've broken it up I'm gonna dry this up Ooh, it's pouring outside just dry this really quick and now because I've got so many um, so many objects that are popping I'm gonna take a little bit of white gesso Put it on my palette here. And I'm going to take my uh, brayer. If I can find my brayer. Right here in front of me. I'm going to take my brayer and I'm just going to put a little bit of that white down. And it looks like I'm going to have to get more white on my here and this again is just to add that next layer to kind of break it up a little bit uh, just kind of break it up a little bit I think I'm going to actually take a little bit of that blue on here as well. Take some of that blue off my palette. Just kind of move some of that stuff to the background. Right? Go back into my white. Love it. Love it. Okay. All right. Now, dry this up, and then I'm going to bring out the face stencils, and we're going to start working with those. If I can get this on here again. All right. So let me dry it up. I'll be right back. All right. So now I want to see how I want to put these girls on here. Now, I'm going to do them in black paint. Um, because I want to have that contrast, that really dark contrast. So let's start with this one. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that paint on my sponge. I don't want it a whole lot. just want enough to give me an outline. Just 
just enough. sure we have enough to cover it. See her there? That's what I wanted. Okay, just a little bit more here. Um, a little bit more right there. Okay. Alright, so there's number one. Now I'm going to take number two and I'm going to take a piece of this wax paper and what I want to do is I just want to cover up this part here. that I want to put her on. Okay, so here she is. This is number two. Oops, I just moved it. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I have an idea of what I'm trying to do. So let's, <laughs> we're trying it. We're going to see if it's going to work or not. And it's okay about the words. That's not a problem. Alright, so there's two. Okay, now one thing I see right off the bat that I need to fix. this to go like it's behind her head, not... Right? Okay. So there's two. Let's dry her really quick. Alright, so now we've got number three. Take her we're gonna move her out this way all right so here's number three Pouring outside. All right, so let's look at her before I move her too much. She's cool. I got a little bit too much under there, but that's okay because we're going to be working with them anyways. So, all right, now same thing here. I need to bring her hair. As though it's under this lady's right here. Okay. And let's dry her real quick. And now we have number four. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we're going to do number four. I'm going to put her right here. We kind of moved these. This one's a little bit too far. Should have moved her over a little bit. You know what? That's okay. Let's put her right here. 
Alright. Must be a car show or something going on because there's a bunch of cars going down through. Loud ones. All right. Yay! <laughs> I love it. See, I knew what I was trying to get. <laughs> trying to accomplish. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fast forward because now what I want to do is I want to work with them. I'm going to play with some shading. I'm going to play, not shading, but yeah, shading. Um, paint their faces and their hair. And we're just going to see if we can make our little crowd, our little stack and our little pile of Gina's ladies. So like I said, I'm going to fast forward through the process. I hope you guys enjoy.
right, guys. Well, here they are. This is my crowd. This is my peeps. <laughs> I had a blast doing this page. Um, I know this is a much longer video, and I apologize for that. Um, I've tried to edit out as much as I could without really losing a whole lot, but I just love it. I don't want to put any words on here. I think it says it all. So um, definitely check out uh, Gina's Etsy shop because she has some really, really cool stencils. Especially if, um, you know, if you're not comfortable drawing faces, what a perfect way to do a spread. I mean, I'm not perfect at it by no means, and there's a whole lot more that can be done to make them look so, um, you know, a more of a realistic, but I don't care. I'm having fun. That's all that matters. I hope you guys enjoy too, so definitely, like I said, check out the other artists this month as well, and let's see what they did for pile and crowd and stack. And, you know, let's see what kind of interpretation they have. So I'm sure you guys are going to get a great month this month. I hope you enjoy. As always, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching. Have fun. That's what life's all about and happy creating. I'll see you next month. Bye.